Welcome back to another Exam Tools Tier 2 demo video. My name is Marcel, AI6MS, and in this video we'll go through the different volunteer examiner permission levels um, and what those mean for your VEs in the session. So I'm currently logged in as myself um, as a session owner, and I can click on the session here from the session list. And then I'll want to go to the volunteer examiner tab. So that's just right here. You click on that and you'll get your list of VEs for this session. Now, in order to add VEs to the session, simply use the add VE button and enter their call sign here to add them to the session. So if we want to add Richard to my session, simply see him list here and have clicked the save button to add him to the list of volunteer examiners. Note that as of May 30th, 2020, you need to make sure your volunteer examiners are properly set up in the database. So please have them fill out the survey that's provided to the volunteer examiner leads in the Discord. Um, in the future, the invite VE feature will be added so that you can invite VEs uh, to the session. So now that we're on the VE page here, you can see the different uh, levels that can be assigned. So as the session owner um, or as a VE admin or team lead, you can adjust the permissions for other people in this list. So if I wanted to uh, just demonstrate with my current permissions as the owner, I can, can of course do anything. So if I go onto one of the candidates here on the um, applicant tab, um, I can go ahead and assign any VE in this session to uh, this candidate. So I can add and remove any of the VEs that are on this candidate. Um, I can add myself as a candidate, as, an, as a VE as well. Um, but there's pretty much nothing that I can't do here. Um, I'm also given the option here to mark candidates as complete, which would be done at the very end of the session. And that's a feature that's only available to the uh, team leads or the owner. So let me show you what it looks like for uh, someone that doesn't have those permissions. So if we go ahead and go to uh, Sarah's login, so she is just a volunteer examiner on this uh, for this session. And you notice on the VE, screen this is again sarah's profile um, she does not have the option to change anyone's permissions here so she can see that i'm the owner of the session so she knows to reach out to me for any issues but all the other ve's um, she doesn't have those options and then on the applicant tab as a ve she can only assign herself or remove herself from the session so here she can assign herself or unassign herself from the candidate um, but those are the only options available as a regular ve now, if we go ahead and take Jeremy here and change Jeremy's permission here to VE admin, so you can consider that as a VE administrator. So this might be someone that's uh, uh, like the higher trained VEs that you have as a room lead in one of your uh, virtual exam breakout rooms or someone in your in-person session that's uh, a little bit uh, helping you organize the session and kind of helping assign VEs. Um, so as a VE admin here, um, we're gonna go ahead and open up Jeremy's account Okay, so now we're in Jeremy's uh, view of the session, and when he clicks into here, you'll now see that in the applicant screen here, um, he does have the ability to assign and unassign other VEs, right? So not just himself, but as a VE admin in this session, he can now add um, any of these other VEs to this candidate and, and help assist with the session. So that's very helpful when you have uh, people that you'd like to help you assign and unassign VEs without confusing um, their usage in the system. So that's the VE admin role here that you can see for them. Now as a team lead, so if we go ahead and change Sarah's permission here to team lead, um, that would give her the same type of options uh, that the session owner has. So back to Sarah's view here, you can now see that she has the ability again to assign and unassign any VEs here, um, not just herself because we changed her permissions um, and can go through and add and remove volunteer examiners all day long. And at any time you can see here the number of VEs, and if you mouse over it, you'll see the number of VEs that are assigned to that candidate. So that's the basic idea here. Um, there's one little bug that it's worth knowing about. If you set one of these and that permission doesn't seem to save, just refresh this page and make sure that that um, setting actually stayed. Um, if it doesn't, just try again, and in that case, um, that permission actually stuck. So that's a known bug, but that's getting worked on. So in case you run into that during your sessions, just hit refresh and that'll resolve it. Anyway, that's all we have for this video. Thanks for joining and look forward to seeing you on a future session.